Okay, so I'm packing up to, for my hospital stay for the stem cells transplant. I go in tomorrow, uh, I believe it looks like on a computer says I have to check in by 8 a.m. because they want to get that uh, uh, chemo in me uh, before noon. So they want to get it in as soon as possible. I think it takes like an hour for it to go through my system so that they can start the stem cell uh, transplant the following day uh, by noon. So I got my suitcase out here Got my clothes on one side, like uh, shorts and t-shirts and some socks and underwear. And then this entire side is, you can see, I got snacks, I got granola bars, licorice, a lot of candy, cookies, M&Ms, Reese's peanut butter cups, candy bars, cookies, Oreos. So yeah, Gideon, you see all those snacks in there? Look at all these snacks I got. I just want to have a lot of stuff. Because my parents going to be on vacation. I don't know who's going to be able to come see me, if anyone will. Usually I have people bring me food. I don't know how hungry I'm going to be. I don't know what my appetite's going to be. I'm sure I'm going to lose a lot of it. So I just want to bring a lot of junk, as you would say. Have a variety of options to, to snack on. I'm sure I won't. I definitely won't eat all of it. Probably a lot of it I won't even touch. Because I usually do bring snacks. So I'll get there and be like, I'm hungry for something, but then you lose your appetite and then you don't want any more. So just rather have it with me since I probably won't have anyone be able to call and be like, hey, bring me, can you go to the store and get me, get me some dots or some sweetest fish or whatever I have a craving for at the time. Okay, okay. See, he likes to sit on my lap, which I don't mind, but he has to always like, Either kiss my neck or rub his nose against me. Hey, you gotta rub your nose against me. Why do you gotta do that? When I come back from the stem cell transplant, you're not gonna be able to do that. You can just lay here. He's been he's been a little brat. I don't I don't know if I talk about this in the video. In one of my videos. Um, I got, I don't know if you can see, it's kinda healed up. On my ear, he got my face. If I have a, I think I have a picture of my phone. Maybe I'll put it in here. Like he got me good. So, okay, get him. Stop. My roommate was laying on the couch. I was sitting here, and I went to get the the remote from her. Just goofing around, and she was like, you know, like wrestling, kinda. You know, she didn't want to give it to me. We're just goofing around. He was laying on top of the couch. I didn't even realize it. So he thought we were fighting or she was hurting me in some way. So he, like, I was leaned over, lay, like, laying on top of her trying to grab the remote, and he jumped off the couch. And I don't think he meant to get me. I think as he lunged off, his paw, I don't know, front or back, got me, like, got the bottom of my ear, got my face. Because then he got on the table, the little coffee table right there, and was just staring at her, hissing at her. So he was mad at her because he thought we were fighting. So he didn't mean to get me, but I mean, pour, blood was just pouring down my face because I'm on Eliquis, so the blood thinner, so I bleed easily. So so he did that, which again, I think he just got startled. He thought we were fighting, but he's been pooping in front of him. He's got a litter robot on the other side of the living room, and he has done it in the past. Sometimes, you know, if it's not cleaned or emptied or whatever, he might do it, but we just emptied it, fresh litter in there, and he kept doing it. And even yesterday, you know, a lot of times he'll do it when I'm not around. We're both sitting here on the couch and she's like, he's pooping on the carpet over there. And I look, and he is. And he's been a little grumpy too. And I think it has to do with, I cut his claws for the first time the other day. Oh, they're so soft now. I think he's mad about that. So he's taking it out on us. Like even last night when I, cause I was, you know, I was gone for the two days up for the cabin. I came back. He didn't come say hi. Then he's just sitting on the couch next to me, just staring at me. And like, she'll usually like put her toes by him and he likes to grab, you know, with his claws. And he wouldn't even do that. He's just, I think he's pouting because we trimmed his claw claws. He still has them. They're just not as sharp. So I think he's mad that and you're going to start getting that because you're supposed to clip all the cat's claws, you know, for the stem cell, just so I don't get scratched, but I've never gotten scratched by any of the others. Boo-boo, um, 
Like if you play with her and rub her and belly or whatever, she never puts her claws on. He does. Like if you like, he doesn't, he's not trying to be mean when he does it. Like when you pet him or you rub his belly, he'll like, he'll grab you with his claw and bite, bite you real quick. Then he'll start licking you. So I had to cut his claws because they were just getting too sharp. So I think he's pouting. He's throwing a little temper tantrum. So no more pooping on the carpet. I just scrubbed the, the floor over there. So maybe that'll deter him from doing it. So yeah, that's about it. Getting ready and enjoying my last day of freedom. Last day of holding you like this is going to be a while. I know you're not going to like it, but I don't know how much, you know. I think I'm overreacting and I'm getting over paranoid about things. You know, I was arguing with my roommate yesterday about stuff. You know, she's like, you just got to calm down because I'm like, everything's going to make me sick. And I think I'm just getting too worried about stuff that, you know, everything's going to be clean and taken care of. I'm just getting in my head, getting too nervous about it. Like, I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, but we'll see. Because I think the, the doctors have gotten in my head too. Like, oh, you got to be super careful, which you do. But I mean, I think there's an extent to where, you know. I don't have to be, everything doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I know the littlest things can make me sick. I think that's the biggest thing. Like I told her, you know, if you're around anyone that's sick or has a cold, you have to let me know. Even if you don't have symptoms, just let me know. So then we can start preparing, you know, if I have to wear a mask in here, you have to wear a mask just in case you get a cold, you know, because the littlest cold or anything could probably send me into the hospital. So, and I'm nervous because I just saw in the news that it says, and I don't, I just read the headline, like, uh, apparently COVID is really spread in California and the headline was like everybody in California basically has COVID right now which obviously you know for most people the symptoms are mild you know I had it last year um, be right before all this started and didn't really have any symptoms I mean she my roommate had some symptoms so that's why I tested myself and I found out I was positive I just had the sore back, but obviously that was from the cancer and I thought it was from COVID. So, but the problem is now when I get back from the stem cell transplant without having any, you know, immune system, basically, you know, if I got COVID, it could be, you know, it could be really bad. So that's why I need to be extra careful, but everything's getting cleaned. She's going to take care of everything before while I'm gone. So when I come back, everything's nice and clean and we'll see how it is. So I will update you maybe tomorrow I get in the hospital get my chemo see how I feel um I got my I don't know if you can see it central line put in basically a pick line if I can get it out here it has two uh, two lines on it so that, you know they can hook the chemo to one and you know ivy bag to the other that way they don't have to come poke me every time they can do that so i went and got that this morning that was super quick it took like 20 minutes it hurts it's sore you know to touch it's gonna be sore for several days i just take my morphine and that makes me feel good so i will like i said either tomorrow or the next day or one of these days i'll keep updating you as things go on tomorrow we'll be getting the chemo and then the next day the stem cell they said I should feel fine for these first few days. It won't be till like day four to six is where I start really feeling bad. So I'll try to get some videos before then. I'll talk to you guys soon.